Hey guys, Darren Miles, Darren Miles Photography, and I'm based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. It's a little bit overcast today. Just wanna give you a brief update. A subscriber of mine sent me a note asking, is everything okay? Are you all right? We haven't seen you in a month and a half, and that's true. I have been, well, just truth be told, but first things first, I'm fine. Thank you for asking, really, I'm, I'm flattered. Uh, but secondly, I, it has been unbelievably busy. I think many of you know, I launched a real estate photography company back in April. And in the last two months in particular, we head into season down here around October, November. That's when real estate agents start listing properties for sale for the high season, which is January, February, and March, when everybody from the Northeast and the Midwest comes down here. But as a lot of you know, and this is not to get political, but as a lot of you know, a lot of you know the Northeast and the Midwest, um, and frankly, California, have done their level best to shut the cities down from outdoor dining, from outdoor activities. And whether you support that or opposed to it, whatever, Florida's been pretty open the entire time. And that's forced a lot of people down here. I've, I've never seen so many California plates in my entire time being here. I've been, in the, I've been in Southwest Florida for almost 20 years, and I've seen more California plates in the last three months than I have in 20 years. It's pretty remarkable. There's a big article today in Bloomberg Magazine about how um, Palm Beach is being turned into the New Hampton, New Hamptons because so many folks from New York are coming down here. But that's neither here nor there. The point of even bringing that up is because, because there's been such a flood of people coming down here, especially in the last few months since COVID started, or since the lockdowns really got serious, what's happened is real estate is on fire down here. It is on fire. I mean, I'm going crazy with the business. I've got two photographers now working alongside me. Um, they're both pretty busy as well. It's been great. So the bottom line is, no, I'm fine. Uh, but the good news is I do have two reviews coming. I have, and many of you will be surprised to hear this because uh, about a year ago when I reviewed the last couple of lenses with them, I haven't really touched the system since, but I shoot a lot of boats. Part of doing this whole real estate photography thing is shooting, shooting boats. And my Nikon is 14 millimeters, which is extraordinarily wide. But sometimes when you shoot those smaller bathrooms and smaller staterooms, 14 millimeters isn't wide enough and you almost want to go fisheye. Well, recently my buddy Ken Wheeler, the angry photographer, talked about how much he loved and thought the Fujifilm 8 to 16 was so great. So naturally I had to give it a shot. So you'll all be happy to know that I've been working with the Fujifilm 8 to 16 for the past probably three weeks now, and I'm very, very impressed. So impressed so that I went out and bought an X-T3, I got a couple of batteries and a grip, and I'm very pleasantly surprised with the X-T3's performance along with the 8-16, to especially coming from a crop sensor camera. But I'll get into that with a full review so you all can see that. And I've kinda, I don't know, initially I was very turned off by the Fuji interface, you know, the different dials and all that, but it's kinda hipster, it's kinda cool, and you begin to understand it and how it works, and I've, I've got a much better handle on it now. And I actually like the Fuji. I, I, it's still not my favorite inter interface because it's just such a departure. If you grew up in the film era, digital era like I did, you never really had all those dials. You had a mode dial, aperture, shutter, manual, etc. A lot of old time photographers refer to that as the idiot dial. I understand all that. But anyway, um, I've been working with the Fuji. I really like it. Uh, I just shot this beautiful home up in Georgia, uh, in Southwest Florida. A lot of folks have places in Asheville, North Carolina. I've photographed a few places up in Asheville. You've seen some of the videos I shot from there. And a friend of mine bought a place up in Blue Ridge. He's like, hey, I need you to, oh, it's actually a friend slash client. He's like, hey, did you go up there and photograph that for me? So we did last week, brought the Fuji, very impressed with the results. Um, and I'll, very soon here, I'll have that opportunity to share this with you. So anyway, bottom line is I'm fine, but keep your eyes peeled the next two weeks or so. You'll be getting a couple new videos from me. I promise this one company, I would do a review of their backdrop. I've had it for the longest time. It's almost embarrassing that I haven't done the review yet, but it's a really neat backdrop, really something kind of different for portraits, and I'll be sharing that with you as well. And I also got some V-flats for the studio, which I haven't even opened yet, but I'm dying to try them. Bottom line, things are good. You'll get more videos from me, Darren Miles here, based here in beautiful, sunny Southwest Florida. Stay tuned. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give me, a, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like, or better yet, subscribe and hang in there very soon. I'll have a couple new videos.